Hey, what's going on guys? We're gonna learn how to use a new DAW. Really quick introduction about me, Tuffy, and DAWs. DAWs stands for Digital Audio Workstation, D-A-W. So, Fruity Loops is where it all began, and after many DAWs of trial and error, I finally landed on the one that I use the most today, which you guys should know is Ableton. My point is, is that when it comes to DAWs, which one you work with is not as important as what you're doing with the DAW and which one fits your style of work the best. So let's get into it. Ooh, it looks a little bit intimidating. I already missed my old DAW, but I gotta press forward. Like where is tempo in this thing? Okay, I see it. Bottom right. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, just making track here. Dope. Um, I don't even know how to do this. Cool, we got a bunch of samples. Should be good. Yeah, yeah, let's go. This for the Let me see if I can copy with my old tricks. Control, yes. I love it, I love it. Control, click, it does everything. This is where we're at right now. one I feel like I'm, I'm missing something like I want to move a bunch of samples all at once okay I just unlocked the grid there alt G every time though every time so if I'm like just moving this shiznit around oh, 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 oh. gotta always be hitting that alt G huh they, see, I'm like guessing there though. It's all, it's, it's kind of guesswork in that way. I keep kind of trying to do stuff that I would do in other DAWs in this DAW. I gotta just go, right? Okay. Oh, nothing can hold me back now. Oh. Let's lay down all these snares. Cause that's something I know I'm, I'm doing for sure. I feel like this is just a, um, uh, yep. Yep, yep. All right, so copy these over. Boom, bada bang. That's not bad actually. That's not bad actually. These are no good right here, take these out. No, the backspace is in delete. Okay, all right, it's fine, it's fine. Alt G. I feel like I'm in the stone ages right now. Is there a duplicate? Heck yeah. Let's listen to the loop. Let's listen to what we got. Not bad, not bad. Oh, we gotta save the project file. We gotta save it. I'm gonna loop this twice here. Ooh, this is gonna be a challenge. Psych, easiest thing in my whole life. All right, boom, bada bing. Copy this over, boom. Song done. Now I'm gonna record some bass, so shouldn't be too bad. Let's just compress it, <laughs> just right away. Okay, I don't hate it, I don't hate it. Let's just try to mix it. So what do I wanna to do to mix this? I kind of want to uh, EQ that sample part cause it's a little bit distracting where it is right now. And then I want to clear up the drums so that the presence is just higher up and then add some low end to the bass. Let's see, um, bring in an EQ, really Q. Man, it looks like I'm playing a game from the 80s with this thing, but I'm into it, I'm into it. Let's solo it up first. 
of course I gotta low shelf it a little bit. Yep. We're gonna use a delay effect to get kind of like a flanger or chorus effect. See if we can do it. That's kind of cool. Just changing the resolution like that is kind of sick actually. Yo, that's kind of dirty. So, so this is what it sounds like before the delay effect. And this is what it sounds like with the delay effect. Hey, that's kind of crazy actually. I really like that effect. Uh, let's bring in the kick. Just kind of lift up the top a little bit. Let's bring in the snare. This is without the EQ that I just put on the snare. And this is with the EQ now. Comes a little forward more, which is what I wanted. I want the tambourine to duck whenever the kick hits. Hmm, how do I sidechain here? Whoa, what's happening right now? <laughs> no. All right, we're gonna automate the little side chain happenings. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's listen to it. Cool, it works. It works for me. It's side chaining. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna do something kind of strange. Uh, we're gonna add a little reverb to this bass. I think it'll give it a little bit of liveliness. just like a little primer in how to use Reaper. We covered uh, levels, we covered effects, such as delay effects, EQs, compressors. We covered a little bit of automation. Yeah, I mean, sounds like a decent beat, honestly. I think we're good. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see some more content. My name is Tuffy, and I'll see you next time. Peace. For this video, bleh.